Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very special episode of CSK News. Hope you guys are all doing well. As always, every story is timestamped down below for your convenience. We have some big stories for all of you guys today. Our first of which is the cash wall bang on the FM Pwn version on the workshop right now. The wall bang has been fixed at this point being. FM Pwn did tweet out this just yesterday, guys, saying the workshop edition has been fixed for the time being. Now, what he means by fix is apparently the wall bang as of right now, when you get a headshot through the wall bang, it only does 10 damage. Now, do not worry for all of you people out there, the very few of you who actually use this wall bang to its effectiveness do not worry because he says the numbers can still be adjusted but yes bodies you know notorious wall bang on cash for the time being on the workshop edition has been fixed going forward so in the future will we see this in competitive play will it really have a huge impact probably not but it was a story for all of you guys now moving off of that talking about three clicks Phil three click a great YouTube channel I'll link it down below as well as this video which he released almost one year ago today about 11 months ago and we found out thank you to my friend gamer tag who gave me this information about three maps out there that were actually notoriously downbotted or downvoted by bots. Uh, a few bots out there went and downvoted Austria as well as Thrill and alongside that we also had the map DE shipped. This is actually from 3 Clicks Phil video. I'll link that down below for all of you guys again. Now again, all three of these maps were actually on the workshop for quite some time and they were downvoted by tons of bots out there who apparently did not like the maps for whatever reason it was but look how far they've come 11 months later and we now actually have all three of these maps in our latest operation Operation, Operation Hydra. So it goes to show all of you map creators out there, do not worry, do not fear downvoting bots. Valve eventually actually went through and actually found these bots, removed those downvotes, and all three of those maps are now in the game today. Even a bigger story for all of us. I did mention a long time ago, Mr. Skins, the channel, which has actually been bought out, we thought was bought out by a newer YouTuber out there, who just all of a sudden posted CSGO videos. Now, I want to give you all updates. I did talk to the Mr. Skin, who is actually on the channel right now, uploading CSGO videos, no other videos. So to give you guys details about this, this channel, originally run by Troll Arch Office, as well as Minnesota Burns, I'll link his Twitter on screen for you guys, he is the original owner of this channel with 1.4 million plus subscribers. Now, it posted content back in the day, it became a community channel where people People could go on and actually build their own smaller channels out uh, by posting community content on his main channel. Now, ever since then, it had a one-year gap with no videos, about 11 months with no videos or content whatsoever. This being their last video, yeah, we get it, Twitch booby streamers, you know, a lot of clickbait stuff, but it was good content. All of a sudden, they started posting CSGO-sponsored content. I contacted the guy who was actually posting that content. His name is Mr. Skins. I'll show you guys screenshots of our conversations where apparently he was actually paid by the original owner, which as of Right now, I am inferring it's still Mr. Burns. He's getting money from this guy right now. He's actually paying him to make content on CSGO and then he takes his cut of the sponsorship. So he actually told me though, Mr. Skin on screen, that the owner of the channel is anonymous. But many of you guys contacted me and said it's obviously Minnesota Burns. You know, it's it's pretty obvious he owned the original channel. And so Minnesota Burns, most likely what we're thinking right now, he can respond if he wants. He's still selling out his channel for content creators to build their own channels off. And obviously Mr. Skin here is making some money off it as well. So I really can't blame Mr. Skin and at the same part of it I really can't blame Minnesota Burns. Even though his YouTube channel is dead for his own his old content, he's still finding a way to make money off it. Although it might be immoral in the YouTube terms, it's kind of smart. So that's updates for the Mr. Skin story. If you guys have any comments about that, leave it down below. But now on to our big story today involving my girl Juliano. She's not actually my girl though, she's actually Mojo's girl because well He's better looking, has more money, so I really can't blame her there. But even more importantly, though, we did have a Swedish local newspaper post about Giuliano and their new team. Here's here's the female CSGO scene. Unfortunately for all of us out there who are fans of CSGO, we never hear about female CSGO news. And I get so excited when I have female CSGO news on this channel because it's so hidden. No one talks about it. You know, Giuliano and her team, Zaz and Vilgen, all those other members as well, on former Team Secret, they left that organization about just last week, and they've already formed their new team known as Team Dynasty Female Gaming. The, one of the best, if not, it was at least a top two female CSGO team, probably the best CSGO female team in the world, especially throughout 2016, winning several tournaments. They changed their organization, and no one even heard about it. They played as Team Dynasty Gaming this past weekend at DreamHack Open, and they actually won the entire tournament. Now, this article in the Swedish newspaper was posted online as well as in the, in the local Swedish newspaper. I have the online edition for you guys and initially it did to talk about the wage gap or kind of it made it very very construed argument for how you know Juliano and her team actually had won around $6,000 USD for winning DreamHack Open and then you go over to the mail side and they really compared these two things in terms of Swedish kr kroner, uh, the, the Swedish currency and the difference between them was immense because then you have SK Gaming winning the men's side of things and they win, they win 10 times as much $50,000 
dollars compared to Team Secret or Team Dynasty Gaming and Giuliano and her team, they won around six thousand dollars. So almost ten times the difference there. And the article goes on to talk about that. Luckily, though, all you Reddit users actually had emailed this guy and said, "Hey, the way you kind of word this really makes it a construed argument and really kind of shows the wage gap here. We understand there's a big wage gap for female and male gaming, but you don't need to publicize it." And so the guy actually changed his article. The article just ends right there. It no longer talks about the male tournament going on. It just kind of celebrates the fact that Team Dynasty Gaming did win it and Giuliano being uh one of the Swedish players there really representing the country well and winning. Although she only won $6,000 for her team, it no longer talks about how much the men win compared to this. And to give it in terms of Swedish kroner, I believe uh, the conversion rates are probably going to be a little bit off here, but in total for USD wise, for the female tournament it was about $10,000 total and then 10 times that for the male tournament they had about a $100,000 prize pool in total. So we've all known there's always been a big wage gap between men and women and that being because strictly for viewerships and sponsors. You know, the more viewers you bring in the more sponsors you bring in just like many sports out there so we all understand that I don't want to get into that subject but you know thanks to all you reddit users out there all you people who emailed this guy he literally changed his article based off your opinion so that was pretty cool to see and very last in today's episode of CSK news we have now seen this so many time among pro players especially among smaller teams Katie and now one of those victims as well he tweeted out this early this morning he is now are yet to be paid for TWC the world championships a tournament which actually happened back in 2016 over eight months ago and Katie has yet to be paid for that now he was was a, team, a part of Team Denmark there and they actually placed fourth place winning $10,000 for the team and he has yet to be paid. Going forward that sponsor for that tournament was actually Azubu Gaming. Azubu actually allegedly went out of business back in May just last month in 2017 and they had a rough 2016 as well. So it seems crazy going forward as well. We have so many organizers out there or sponsors who have not paid the little guys out there and somehow legality wise have gotten away with it for quite some time because you know a guy like Kadian is so busy he's been playing for several teams over the past few months months and saw success with several of them like Team Rogue, uh, also Team Denmark for TWC as well as Team Heroic and who knows in the future for Team Kading, he's been too busy to argue for the fact that he wants his money back from these guys or his, or his two grand from them and yet they have to pay him, uh, they haven't yet. So we'll see if his argument and him taking to Twitter actually gets him his money. We had other pro players complain about this as well. Apparently TWC and their sponsor Azubu took more than four months to pay most players out there. So we'll see if this does help Kading in the future. Now going forward as well, I do want to talk about dumb down the new update for all of you guys who are like me out there and really barely understand updates. We had a beta update come out to CSGO this morning. Just the, the fact of it and the, the main gist of it and to sum it up for you guys is now we can actually have organizers like ESL, DreamHack, so on and so forth. They can now run their servers off two GOT servers so they can stream from two different GOT servers at different delays which pretty much mean replays should be better. We can actually watch highlights, personal player cams, so on and so forth in between rounds. This is not going to work for live events like LAN events where you have a live audience inside the arena. It just won't work out most of the time. But for all those online only events on Twitch and YouTube, this should mean better replays where during those downtimes in between rounds we can go back on one server that's actually delayed and watch the replays or highlight videos and then go back to live feeds. So it should mean it should mean an increase in online performance from all these organizers out there and that was the main gist of that update. Now moving on as well I want to touch on one last thing for all of you guys. I will be taking on one sponsor this month. As many of you know I now have, have gone three weeks without a sponsor and so I actually will be taking on one sponsor this month and it should be only one and that will be with Wild Case. So thank you all for understanding. I want to give you guys the idea for my video which should be out this weekend. My idea is actually to make it into a weightlifting slash workout video. Stay with me okay. It sounds weird which means every case I open throughout the video on wild case I will go over there and add weight to my bench bar and so I'll be bench pressing for every case that I open and eventually I will get so heavy of a bar on my bench and open so many cases that I won't even be able to bench it. I'll bring my mom in and we'll just try and lift it together and that's the premise of the video. So thank you for understanding. I am taking one sponsor with Wild Case this month only and I really do appreciate you guys supporting that video which should be out this weekend. As always, thank you all for the amazing support. I've had so many people contacting me on Twitter and saying, Jake, I'm using your OP Skins affiliate code. I just made you 60 cents or 30 cents. Thank you! Because that's been my only sponsor and you guys have been killing that OP Skins affiliate code. Thank you all so much who have signed up for that down below. As always, live, love, laugh a lot. Hope you guys all enjoyed my Q&A video and more videos in the future. As always, I will see you all next time and tomorrow. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.